Welcome back, everybody, to some more- Oh my god, am I ever fucking adorable. Look at that, that is just something uh, only a mother could love. Uh, look at his little hands on the big little axe. Okay, sorry, I, I I don't look at my guy enough. Anyways, back to Reign of Kings, King Dragast here, of course, and uh, yeah, today we're going to be trying to get steel. Also, I I, uh, I kind of cheated. I watched Splattercat's video, so I kind of know where he is, so I might pay his little little house a visit and just just to say hi, just fi figure, see what he's doing, and uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun today. So first of all, I want to make my... Uh, bow because people have said that the infected i believe they're called the infected or whatever i mean they're plagued i think or infected anyways those guys are weak against range or at least they're easier to kill against range so that's what i want to do right now i also i forgot my freaking feathers i should have feathers over here we're gonna make some arrows and a bow and uh we should be good to defend against ourselves. We do have one guy on the server right now. Again, this server hasn't been put to the public yet. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing much fighting today, if any at all, but uh, in the near future we are going to be, because Splattercat actually said he's going to be inviting all of his fans, so it's going to be basically me against the world when Splattercat's fanboys get in here and try and uh, kill me, basically. It should be fun, though. I'm excited. All right, iron-tipped arrow. I think that's good. Makes batches of 10, so we need... Five wood, one iron ingot, and ten feathers. So I think we'll make maybe... Well, let's do 50 of those. Uh, we'll keep, obviously, some here. But I, I, it's good to have, you know, a little bit of a stockpile in case anyone gets here. And then I can quickly grab some weapons and get out there and kick their ass. So we got our 50 arrows now. I don't. Well, obviously, I'm not going to take all of those. I might just put most of them in here where... I think I put my halberd in here as well. As well as my helmet because, you know what? I don't think anyone's going to steal my uh, spot from me. We'll throw my all my flax in there as well. Uh, I guess my wooden jabs, and, uh, is there any quick way to do this? I guess not, which is unfortunate, but there we go, good enough. 24 is good enough for me, and we'll throw the rest in there. Alright, so we are gonna go out now and, uh, go visit the plagued people. The plagued, or the infected, whatever they are, because I want to see what they drop. People have said they drop steel gear, which is really exciting to me, and people have also told me I need oil for steel gear, which they're totally right, and that is in the swamp, so I gotta go there as well. Oh man, that booty. It's been one day and I've already missed it. I like his sneak pose when I'm holding a bow. For some reason, he feels the need to sneak around ever so quietly. Like, look at that little, look at that little sneak. I mean, he doesn't do that. I don't think he does that when I hold this. No, he's just, he's just running like a motherfucker. And then when I, when I put out my bow, it's like, sneak, sneak, sneak. I don't, I don't get it. If you're having a bow, you're long range anyways. You don't need the fucking sneak. I've never actually shot a bow in this game, so I don't know how bad the drop is. I'm hoping... Oh, yeah, no, not too bad at all. Ah, uh, of course I missed my second one. Alright, yeah, they're the Plague Villagers, that's right. Um, why am I... Okay, there we go. So, yeah, obviously this is this is a lot easier. Because, uh, he can't keep up. So you can just keep kind of kiting him. But this is, doesn't have a very accurate attack, which is, uh, quite interesting. I actually might see... You know what? I do have this badass sword. Let's, uh... Oh, God. Okay, maybe... I... Probably, I'm going to be regretting this. Okay. I don't want to be... There we go. Okay. So, yeah, he does hit me a little bit. I should get bandages before I do this. Look like, look at this. Who, who the hell said there's lots of loot on these guys? Two in a row with no loot at all. It's a good thing I got a few bandages here. That's, uh... It's going to be needed if I'm going to kill these for any amount of time. Let's just apply that bandage. And, uh, let's pull another one. I, I think I'll use all these arrows on these guys and then, uh... We're gonna go see Splattercat if I can find him. He's in here somewhere, actually. He he decided to build in the fog, which is uh, actually very smart. I, I, Splattercat's a pretty damn smart guy. Uh, he, he knows that the people out there are pretty much gonna die once this server goes live. Hello, Mr. Plague. How's it going, buddy? Um, these arrows only do 10 damage, which, I don't know. I guess, I guess being that they're iron, I feel like they should do a bit more, but... Uh, then I guess range would be a little overpowered as well. Considering my sword only does 18 damage, I guess, you know, 10's not that bad. So yeah, so these guys have exactly 100 health. Um, it would take 10 arrows each. There we go, like, an iron hatchet. I don't need it, but I may as well bring it because I feel like inclined to take it. Because of all that time it took, uh, we're going to go hit this guy up as well. We should, how many arrows do we have left? We only have 5 arrows left, so I do have to hit 50 damage to this guy on my own. Uh, but that shouldn't be an issue at all. All right, come on, give me something good. Give me steel. Steel. I need that steel, buddy. See, they're really hard. Like, the animations on these guys are not the best. Oh, man, he is really hurting me. Okay, good, good, good. 
Whew. Okay. Let's loot that bad boy. Of course! Nothing! That was a total waste of time. I, I, I think it would be lucrative if you really made a bunch of arrows and just sat here ranging them. But I think actually meleeing them is uh, not the best idea. Maybe if I get steel armor, I'm not going to get hit as much. But with iron armor, well, I, I mean... I'm not the I'm not the smartest guy. I am pantsless right now. Let's face it. But uh, I told someone in the comments I would for them, and of course I am listening. You know what? We've already seen this. I'm wondering if this is his place because big bad baby chicken crew. I just it's in the fog. I don't know how much he got done in his uh, actual building. I want to say that this is probably. Maybe his place? Big Bad Chicken Room? Is he trying to hide that much? That has to be it. I went all around this place. That's the only place I found. So I, I, I'm gonna say Big Bad Chicken Crew is Splatter Cat's home. It's gotta be. According to my, my information, unless he moved, he might have totally moved as well. Because uh, he didn't have much set up on the video that I watched, so who knows how far he is though. You know, he might have recorded a bunch of it and uh, isn't releasing it yet. I don't know. Uh, but... Big Bad Chicken Crew is my first assumption on where Splatter Cat is. No idea, though. Oh, God. Oh, shit. All right, all right, here we go. I freaking hate these things. Every time I'm just wandering around, they just somehow get here. Oh, God, I'm hurt. I'm He really freaking hurt me. Uh, I don't think I have any arrows left. No, I don't. Of course. And I can't chase him because I'm freaking hurt. Come on. Come on, legs. There we go. Bastard almost killed me. Don't mind me, just walking underwater. No big deal. I think I'll have some berries under here as well, because I can totally breathe. I mean, that's that's no big deal. I'm slowing down. Like, what the hell is going on? Come on, swim, bud. Swim. There you go. He's 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 getting into it there. Beautiful. Where the hell am I? Um I kind of just wandered around and got lost. Ooh, but look what I found. Someone has a nice little outpost out, out here. Hey, Lucy. Shh, go to sleep. It's be, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Shh, shh. Just sleep. Just sleep. There. Good. I think he's... Uh, what the hell is going on? He, he can't climb mountains. There we go. Good. Good boy. Holy shit, there's ducks in this game? I didn't know there were ducks. How's it going, bud? Oh, shit, I missed. Hold on. Don't, 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 don't whine at me. Just, just, yep, keep waddling around. No big deal. There we go. Good. Oh, shit. Duck feet? Sick. I mean, I'm no engineer, but I think, uh, this structure... Definitely wouldn't be balancing on that small of a mountain. I mean, holy crap. What is he building? He's just building a little mountain town. Dragoon's Lance. Hello. Can I come in? Holy shit. I can't believe I didn't kill myself there. I just kind of fell down the mountain. That was awesome. There we go. Okay, I found the lockpick. It needs a diamond and an iron ingot. I think I have a couple diamonds I stole off someone. Um, they should be in here. Yes! Alright, perfect. I'm so glad I stole those now. See? Stealing is good, kids. Alright, I have a sneaky suspicion after every door these lockpicks break. So... I'm feeling like this is a good chance of only having one door or maybe two. Uh, and I know this guy had a lot done last time we were here, so I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go say hi to him and say how's it going. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, do that, why don't we? Please don't break the lockpick, please don't break the lockpick. Yep, broke the lockpick, okay. Well, let's just, uh, go inside. Oh, shit, look at that! My assumptions were real. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is, this is... This is great, guys. I I didn't expect, you know, to have it that easy. There we go. We got more diamonds. Oh, God. I'm scared. I, I gotta hurry up, though, because there might be someone coming up behind me. Oh, my God. Steel gear. Steel gear. Um, a steel greatsword. Steel war sword. Steel halberd. Oh, God. We, we, we gotta come back. We, we gotta come back. We gotta come back. We are seriously looting good here, boys. 230 iron. Steel compound. Okay. Okay. Um, I gotta steal a bit more before we leave. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm really freaked out now because I saw someone... Tears of the Gods? Yes, we need that. That's going to be great. Okay, so let's leave and maybe possibly come back. Uh, I don't want to steal everything, but you know what? Let's let's just close the door for him. Uh, wait, does, if I close the door, does it lock? All right, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it open. All right, see you later.
That's the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody, there's a few people on the server now. That's why I was so scared, because that guy could have been on here. I, I have no idea. But that's the way to do it. You know, I kind of just walked in. I got a lot of loot there. I, I almost feel bad the amount of, like, what was it? 840 oil? I don't, know, I don't think oil's that hard to get. 855 oil, but still. I mean, that is what I needed right now, is the oil for my steel compounds. Uh, that's going to help me a lot. I got a lot of iron. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. It's, 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 oh, I almost kill myself always trying to go down to my thing. I got a lot of iron ore now. I mean, I am set up for a while here. Now, I have a serious worry of retaliation. Um, that's obviously going to piss someone off, and i got to be careful with that. I'm going to have to build more security in this thing. To, to hopefully not lose everything, but you know what? For right now, you know this is going great. I <laughs> let's just look at this loot, shall we? We we might go back and take some more. I mean, Jesus Christ! Look at the the steel weapons. I didn't even have steel before. Now I do. I got three more diamonds, so I can make more lock picks and do more of that. I got fuses for explosions or uh, exploding barrels. I got tears of the gods, which is a rare use. Um, which is a thing that makes you not get damaged by the plague. Uh, I just, just so much here. Oil, of course. Uh, wow. That, that was an intense run. Alright, we are finally forging steel. Uh, that's like, that's like endgame content right now. Uh, I am going to go back and loot that guy one more time. I just want to look around. I didn't look at the whole place. Also, I need to get some wood, so hopefully he has some or I can just chop some along the way. Uh, because I do want to make a siege works now to start building siege items because I think that'd be fun to play around with those and uh, Tomorrow this server is gonna go public So I'm trying to you know prepare ahead of time get all my stuff done and try and hopefully keep hidden down there I doubt I will but uh, you know what that doesn't look too appetizing. I don't think so I don't think I'm gonna get too many uh, pickers tomorrow Okay door is still open. That means hopefully no one's home uh, if they are I'm gonna have to you know Cut their head off, probably. I just want to see. You know, let's take our time here. See, that's the thing. Like, there's there's a lot more charcoal. There's a cooked bird. I don't need that crap, though. I think this server... Uh, I haven't had any issues with food on this server, so I'm assuming he lowered the the time needed to eat. I don't know. Um, crap. All right, let's open this. Uh, actually, no, that's a short bow. We already have one of those. Let's open that. Um, woodcutter's axe. Don't need any of that crap. So I think we pretty much stole everything that we need. You know, we'll take this stone arch just just because I'm an asshole and I want to. Um, everything actually is that steel. You know what? It's it's two ingot. Oh yep, yeah, that's one ingot. But uh, no, actually two. So we may as well steal them. Let's head up here now. I can't believe this guy's only have, has one door. That's uh not the brightest idea. I'm just uh oh my god, I'm scared. I that <laughs> I'm really scared up here. This is freaky. But, uh, oh, look, he's sleeping. Hey, little guy, how's it going? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to kill him, though. That's that's too mean. I'm king, damn it. They're supposed to respect me. And his, he's got a nice trebuchet. This, is a, this would be a really nice place if he had more security in it. He put all of his... Why would you put all of your chests, like, right at the front door? Like, hey, here's my stuff. That, that, that's fun to take. Okay, I am obviously being overly paranoid, but I am going to add another door here. I'm actually going to add another whole wall, so they have to penetrate twice to get through my defenses. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure, because when this thing goes live, there's going to be a lot of people on here, and I want to make sure my thing will be okay. Actually, really the only thing I need really secure is this thing right here. This is the most important part of my whole place. So I think I can just, if I just build a lot of walls around this and then a lot of extra doors, I should be okay to have this secure. Okay, I'm going to build two iron doors here. I'm going to put one inside and one outside. So if we do this right here, I should be, all right, let me put it up here. Now this is going to be one safe place. Now if I go over here and just put one right you know, can we put it out further, maybe? No, we can't. Okay, so there. Eh, back. Get back in there. Perfect. Um, oh, okay, yeah, it's there. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Look at that. Two doors. It's going to take me a while to get, you know, get inside here, but at least it's a little more secure. And then we want one more door in here somewhere. So I think if I can put it, like, right here. Oh, man, I can't put it in there. Oh, no. 
Oh, yeah. All right. So that... Oh, man. This is... No, this is not good. I... I want to... Oh, man. How am I going to get through here? So if I can jump up here... Okay, this is this is not gonna be pretty, but this is gonna be secure. I, I, I you know, I'm a freak for security. I want to put one more door in here, and I'm using iron blocks as well. So we're gonna need two more iron blocks, and then we should be able to put be able to put our security door up as well. Um, so that should be perfect, and I should feel at least somewhat secure in my current design for when this server goes live. Now I can still be breached other ways, but um, honestly. I think this is good enough. I think there's a lot, you know, as long as your neighbors are easier to breach than you, then you're pretty much safe. Now, obviously, people are going to know something's in here, but are, do they really want to, you know, try and break this, try and break that to try and get in here? I don't know. That depends. And honestly, if they do want to do all that, they can steal whatever it is in here because I don't even have that much yet right now. Okay, just grabbing my iron here, and I should have, I think it's 50 iron, that's all I really, oh, wait, that's steel? Alright, steel and iron look way too close together, I just actually tried to put my iron on top of my steel. Uh, I should, of course, have enough for the siege works, though, I believe? Uh, where the hell is it? It's gotta be somewhere in here. God, there's so many items in this game already. Alright, there we go, used to create siege equipment, look at that. Two minutes, and then we can create our siege work. So we have to put that outside. Obviously, the thing is huge. I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to have some sort of gated entrance, or sort of just allow people to use it? This is obviously going to draw attention to my place, because once you create the siege works, people kind of know that, you know, you're well off. You're doing decently. I mean, 50 iron ingots and wood is not the easiest. I mean, wood's easy, but 50 iron ingots is quite a bit. Now, I hope people don't realize how much I have in here, though. Okay, this thing is, yeah, as you can see, quite huge. I wonder, can I put it underwater? That would be really friggin' cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can. Uh, maybe because the inclination, though, I don't know. Because I, 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 basically, I want to keep myself as hidden as possible. This thing is just an eyesore for me, personally. I don't like how big it is, but you know what? If we put it against the wall as close as possible, I think I can keep it hidden. Maybe just make it a little thing over here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, I think. We're just going to put it over here for now, and we'll have to build around it when we want to. There we go. It's not putting down for some... There we go. Okay, so we got our siege works now. I mean, we've already seen what's inside of this, but we may as well check again. Um, there we go. So the siege weapons are the trebuchet, the stones, and then the ballista as well. Uh, I can upgrade this, I'm assuming? I guess not, no. So that's all of the siege weapons so far. Now, there is a guillotine in the game, so I, j I feel like you can upgrade this. Maybe maybe they haven't implemented it yet, or maybe you use the... You, can you make the guillotine someone else, somewhere else? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, but we, we can make ballistas and more trebuchets if we want, and the trebuchet stones, which I'm going to need more of. Next time, we'll be playing with a bit of that stuff, doing some sieging. Getting into a little bit more trouble. Now that I'm a little bit more secure in here, I think I'll be okay to, you know, kind of shake up the place and see how secure people are. Because hopefully they're as secure as me or they're going to be having a bad time. So once again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was just a, you know, kind of everything episode. I built my thing. We went exploring. It was really fun. Uh, next time there's going to be a lot more people on this server, so... It should be chaotic. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.